Texas, as of tonight, is now the largest state in the United States to announce a plan to make coronavirus vaccine doses available to all adults. It's big news. Good evening. I'm Doug Dunbar. It is a very big step toward herd immunity. It's also returning maybe some sense of normal eventually. But as our Caroline Vandergriff explains tonight, even though the eligibility is going to expand, some Texans may still have a long wait to get a vaccine. Thousands of North Texans have been sitting on COVID-19 vaccine wait lists, hoping to get a dose. Even though eligibility expands next week to include all adults, many people will have to keep waiting. This does not happen overnight. Especially since the vaccine is still in short supply. Currently, it is going to take a bit more in terms of manufacturing and in terms of supply chain planning and also other types of supply and resource procurement before we will be to the point that you can walk in anytime, any major drug chain and get your COVID shot. We are going to be a few months away from that still. Public health expert Dr. Aaron Carlson says getting more vaccine to retail pharmacies has to be a top priority. This is really critical because nobody knows their local population like the local pharmacy. So when planning for vaccine needs, our local retail pharmacies have a very, very important role. The vaccine may not be available at your local pharmacy yet, but health officials encourage people to register for it at every place they can. So at least setting up a an appointment, I think it's very important um, so that when that supply is in, the patients are able to get that, uh, their vaccine. The state is launching a new website next week where people can sign up for the vaccine with some public health providers. There's also going to be a hotline people can call to make an appointment if they don't have internet access. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.